so I'm presenting myself. I'm Lambert Selikas. I'm an interventional radiologist in Gustave Roussy, working in the department of Professor Debert. We perform radioembolization either for primary liver tumors or for metastatic patients into the liver that have limited disease or exclusive hepatic disease. One of the main problems that we're facing using radioembolization is that you need to adapt the dose you're delivering to the patient and be sure that you are targeting precisely the tumor without targeting the non-tumoral healthy parenchyma of the liver. So it's a matter of precision and a dose adaptation. Actually, we're using a lot our combined CT to do these procedures. So first of all, the quality, the image quality is uh, of main importance. You need to have nice images to depict the tumors, to be able to target them and to be able to catheterize all the feeders and to have an, a nice coverage of your tumors. Secondly, you need to have all the, the available softwares that allows you to make the, the way you work easier and more effective in the, in the workflow of the procedures. Virtual parenchyma is a, is a very nice illustration of what can offer these, uh, this kind of machine and the softwares that, go, that are going with. So it helps you to, to know, to predict what you will do during your intervention and during the following interventions, namely the treatment of the radioembolization, without needing to repeat the injections and the 3D acquisitions. Actually, we do have a discovery machine which helps us a lot in facing these challenges because, first of all, the image quality is at the rendezvous. We have very nice images with very easy to do and uh, high quality Convim CTs. But most importantly, we have the softwares that allow us to, to do all the tricky cases and to perform very challenging operations by selecting multiple feeders, doing very complex tumors, even very large tumors in this setting. <laughs>